Good morning guys, welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor. Today I got a lot to talk about, so go ahead, get yourself a coffee, sit down, and enjoy today's episode. Let's roll that intro. First up, I'd like to introduce you guys to Celestial, the new Arctic Vet headquarters, brains of the operation. That would be my new computer. I cannot wait to stream and learn how to play games on there. And by games, I mean like playing Fortnite and stuff, like play Fortnite on the PC. And some other games. Did you guys check that out? It got a perfect spot for the awesome Corvette inside there. You already know. So sick. Super exciting. Let's move on to the next thing. So, the next thing is you guys may remember that I had mentioned that we had a pretty crazy wildfire uh, kind of southwest, southeast of town. Um, and it, it was, wasn't very good. I could, let's see if I can find this real quick. We had several homes lost. I want to say there was 35, 35 altogether. Um, yeah, here we go. 35 homes, 92 outbuildings, 110 vehicles, and all of that stuff, like total loss, completely gone. And then there were uh, two homes that had damage, eight outbuildings that had some damage, and we we have lost, like a person had lost their life in that. So pretty pretty scary stuff, pretty crazy. It and it all started from just a, a brush a brush fire. Um, so somebody had started up a fire, like to burn up their brush and whatnot. And it, with the wind, honestly, the wind was enough just to kick it up and send it everywhere. And it was 12,000 acres, I believe. I believe that's what it was, 12,000 acres. That's a lot of land. And we had firefighters from everywhere. I mean, everywhere. <laughs> so, what I wanted to tell you, though, is that the community has been overwhelmingly amazing with helping all those people and there's some in our school that there there's people from school that have lost their homes and stuff like that and basically all of their needs have been met there they just they just need help financially now and it's amazing and there's there's ways that we can help um if you're local the biggest way that you can help is saturday this is what I really want to tell you guys. Is Saturday, this Saturday, uh, why do I want to say September? I want to say the 12th. Is it the 12th? Yes. Saturday the 12th. This coming Saturday, okay? We got it. 3 o'clock. We're meeting at Alan Samuels. Don't have to bring your super nice car out because the weather may be a little iffy. We're going to be there. We're going to have our, we're meeting there. We're going to have a cruise to the barn in Burton, which this fire went towards Burton. It went north and then it went back and east and the wind changed like four times on them. So I can only imagine how much of a pain that was to fight that fire. And I, I don't think it's even completely out yet. I think there's still some hot spots. However, with our lovely snow, this is the second time of snow, I know that that has helped them it's helped the firefighters contain the fire better and you know honestly it's a terrible terrible thing that happened but it was really amazing that the next day when that fire started the next day it snowed it was like sleet really it was just sleet everywhere and it helped I'm sure it helped put out a bunch of little fires here and there for for the firefighters and made it a lot easier saving a bunch of work and they could get some more more stuff um so anyhow 
Evolution Car Show, we are going to be having a cruise, a fundraiser cruise, uh, March 12th, this coming Saturday at 3 p.m. We're all going to meet at Alan Samuels. From there, we're going to cruise out to the barn in Burton, and we're going to have a meal. And the barn, this is the cool thing, the barn, if you get their $12 barbecue meal, that that money is going towards all the victims of the fire, the, the Cottonwood Complex fire. It's amazing, amazing. So if you guys bring some cash and you're willing to donate cash because mostly financial need is, is their needs now. It's not so much clothes. Most of them have got clothes and they're all, all good with that as far as I'm, I know which is amazing it's absolutely amazing so they're just needing financial aid we got people staying in hotels we got people staying at friends and some have found rentals like to go rent and stuff like that and it's amazing it's amazing so our community it, it, it's great it, it is it's amazing when something like this happens and we can all really just come together and take care of those in need. Man, I wish we could do that every single day, everywhere we go. Imagine how the world would be. Imagine how the world would be. So, those are the big updates. Those are the things I want you guys to know. Because if you're local, if you're in the area, and you want to join us, please drive whatever you got. You want to bring out a nice car, go ahead. We, we don't, it doesn't matter, it's not a car show, it's not anything fancy for the cars. It's all about supporting these families, our friends, family members, and, and trying to help them from, most of them are uh, at the level of nothing. They lost everything, and they've got to start over. I mean, if I lost everything, I would... Uh, Luckily, I have family I could go to, but man, I'd be, I would be devastated, be devastated. So I can only imagine what some of these people are going through, but the main thing is that God pulled through, he helped the firefighters out with some snow, and he did it again, and I'm sure that this fire is going to be contained. They're hoping today to Saturday so like this next three days so well I guess to today tomorrow and Saturday they're hoping to have it contained a hundred percent by then and maybe maybe though maybe with the weather it'll it'll go down it'll just be out that would be amazing so anyhow appreciate you guys if you're local definitely check it out and if you're if you're not if you're not able to Come to our cruise, the Evolution Cruise, uh, fundraiser cruise, I should say. Then that's totally fine. But you want to help out? There are still ways that you can help out, and I will I will find a link to our. Um, I believe that there's a few. I think there's a few of them. Like we had, there's there's a bunch of GoFundmes for specific families. There's uh, United Way here in Reno County that's helping. I think there's some more so I'll do a little bit of research I will I will find one at least one and add it down to the description below so please go ahead and check it out if you're willing to help out even if it's five dollars I mean five dollars is it, it's a lot to somebody that has nothing I mean honestly I, I know that personally <laughs> so thank you guys so much we appreciate you I hope to see you guys Saturday and until then, enjoy a nice cup of warm coffee because, uh, well, it's only 18 degrees outside. <sighs> Check out that first OG Arctic Vet decal. God bless. We'll catch you tomorrow. Yeet.